Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, October 28th, and this is episode two of Future Rail Trips. Hope you guys enjoy. So, in today's edition of Future Rail Trips, we're going over to Omaha for uh, in uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa, for the uh, Union Pacific Railroad Museum. We uh, have the uh, museum over there for Union Pacific stuff and the history of the Union Pacific, and then we also have in Omaha the Josh Lenart Museum, which from October 6th to January 6th, they'll be doing a uh, golden, they have all three original golden spikes that were a promontory summit uh, at, the, at the museum. And, uh, well, you guys won't be watching this right away. You'll be seeing this uh, May 10th, 1860, <laughs> May 10th, 1860, May 10th, 2019, because I will, this will be my video for that, and uh, I will be in Utah filming for uh, Future Oil Travels episode five I think depending if something comes up between now and then or not so uh well that's it for me I'll see you guys at the museum bye hey guys future Oil productions here here's another update uh we're stuck in the McDonald's drive through because McDonald's is a piece of shit with their delivery system uh not sponsored uh so we uh I just found out that the Union Pacific Museum is closed today so we're gonna go and uh Go and uh, get the, just go to the Josh Art Museum instead. So I'm gonna cut here and I'll see you guys when we get there. Bye. Hey guys, Future Out Productions here. We made it to the museum. We're gonna go check out the stuff now. Uh, I don't know if I can film it inside, but so I'm gonna ask just to be safe. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So we made it. I don't want to get out my video camera, but oh, wowzers. This is awesome. These are old stereographs here. Wowzers. So guys, these are the three original spikes that were at Promontory Summit on May 10th, 1869. They're, what, the, the last one's gold alloyed with copper. The Nevada spike is all silver, and Arizona is silver, steel, and gold. Now, the fourth one was um, made by the San Francisco Newsletter, but it was destroyed in the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and fire, and it no longer exists as long as with the uh, ceremonial railroad tie they had. But it's amazing that these have been are here and still with us today. It's been 150 years since they've been together. At, ever since Promontory Summit, they've been separate. And now they're together again once more.
Hey guys, Futuro Productions here. I uh, wasn't able to film. Apparently I have to get permission, but I can take photos, so I took a bunch of photos. Um, I'm gonna, I made the call to the director of, you know, uh, human resources and all that. Uh, pub public relations, that's the public relations. So I made the call. Um, gonna wait for her to call me back, see if I can't get permission, and I'll come back, try to get some more footage. Uh, and if I can't, I still got a little bit of cell phone footage, so, uh, but, um, uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, I'll upload what I can, and if I can't upload any footage, I mean, if I can't, um, upload any footage that, uh, I took, well, I mean, I'm gonna upload it regardless, but if I can't record any footage, there, that's the word I was gonna record any footage, I'll just use what I got, so, uh, I'm gonna go check out the Union Pacific Big Boy, which is, uh, on the bluff overlooking the Missouri River, so I'm gonna check that now, and I'll be back here soon. Bye. Hey guys, we made it, so we're heading up to the, uh, Big Boy and the other locomotive, I don't know what it's called, but uh, we're gonna go check that out now. See you guys in a little bit. This is really cool. This retaining wall has images of different people and what Omaha and Nebraska are. We've got a Union Pacific placard down there, some more photographs, a lot of cool stuff. There it is, guys. Number 423, the Big Boy. It's absolutely huge. And I see the cab forward, so that's saying something. God almighty, she's massive. And the coupler's in there, and they would uh, swing this little panel open so they could double head it or do something or pull a train with it. I love this thing. Although that number seen better days on the right hand side, it needs to be repainted. Guys, this thing is massive. It's huge. I mean, you got four lead wheels, eight driving wheels, another eight driving wheels, and four trailing wheels. And this thing is, like, I took a photo just a few seconds ago. I'll edit it in just a sec. But I can barely get a wide frame of that. this thing. It's so long, okay? I mean, look at the firebox. Yeah, that's how long it is. Um, I feel dwarfed by this thing. Well, I'm gonna go check out the cab now. Well, they really need to repaint this baby. She's in really bad shape. I mean, she's decent enough, but they still need to repaint her. I'm gonna go check her out now. So guys, we're gonna go check out the uh, cab here. This locomotive is huge. I love it. So, I love this little ramp they've installed for everybody. So, here's the cab of the locomotive. I don't know how well you guys can see on the inside, but let me, uh, yeah. I don't think you guys can see all that well because the sun reflects just right, but let me zoom in. I mean, yeah, you can't see all that much, but drivers, uh, the fire, driver's seat, fireman's seat over there. It's an all-weather cab, so you got doors here, and it's locked, so can't go inside. This is the uh, coal bunker here. The 4014 actually burns uh, oil now, so, and they uh, so they don't burn coal anymore on it. But it would be cool if they could burn coal in this thing again. But time and labor, intensiveness, stuff like that. But yeah, they got this whole thing. Loaded up, and right, you know, looks like it's charging off into the distance. Well, that was episode two of Future Rail Trips. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is, you know, short hop. I hope I can come back to the Josh Alarm Museum film there. Just gotta wait for permission for the public relations person. So, until next time, I'm Future Rail Production signing off. Bye. Is finished, wrote a Union Pacific surveyor who was there that day. This great and mighty enterprise that spans a continent with iron and unites two oceans.
The future is coming, and fast too.